Welcome to the Game Ramble special video for Arise Simple Story. My name is Dark Cloud. I'm joined by Nimby or Mrs. Cloud. This game is developed by Piccolo Studio and published by Untold Tales. And it's a game about the emotional journey of losing the love of one's life. Aww. Yeah, so I'm expecting some feels in this one. Yeah. This uh, PC version that we're checking out today has actually been out on Steam since December of 2020. But the reason why we're looking at this game is because there is a Switch version that's out now. And it's going to be 50% off for the first week. It's on the eShop. So it's going to be pretty much the definitive edition of all kinds of exclusives such as gyroscope functionality, custom photo mode and 100 page digital art book as well as the original soundtrack to download. Oh, that's quite a lot. Yeah, so let's take a look at Arise, a simple story and see what to expect. to the funeral. Yeah, off to a sad start already. Mm. So I already love the graphics. Yeah, the soundtrack also really yeah. stirs up the emotions. So it's showing I have to use the arrow keys on the keyboard and it's used to be manipulating time or something. Oh. So that is forward. Okay. Interesting. I've heard that the game involves uh, manipulating time to solve puzzles and you can reshape your surroundings. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So to melt the snow now with time or something. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, thawed out. Oh, this is a very desolate landscape. Yeah. meadow next to the snow. Mm. Okay. Manipulate time again. Okay. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Let the snow melt now as there's water. Yeah. Okay. wonder if I should make it snowy so I can walk across. Oof, yeah, like I sit up again. Yeah. Ah, okay, the water evaporates and there we go. Mm. Now I can walk through. Like it. What is this? Ah, so if I forward it now, it will rise. Oh. Yeah, this seems to be a floating thing. There we go. And up. Ah. Okay, a very mm. clever puzzle mechanic. So it looks like it's using the music and the uh, animations to tell the story. It doesn't spell out everything for you. Yeah. Need to know. Jump that far. <laughs> well, let's see. Ah, well done. That's it. Ooh. Oh, okay, you made, made it. it. My character is quite agile, it looks like. Mm -hmm. But I'm not quite sure where I'm going yet. There's another. Let's see if I. Mm. 
That would not be a good idea. Looks like. Is there another float or thing to go this way? Oh, look at that. There. Ah. Uh, stand on this log. Yes. Ah. This <laughs> is so cool. Yeah, it's very clever and very <laughs> imaginative. It accomplishes this with uh, very straightforward, simple controls. I mean, mm. you've got a key for forwarding and rewinding time, and the rest is your movement and jumping. But there's so many possibilities that they can do with this. It's going to be interesting what kind of inventive ways they come up with. What is that? What are we for? Still. Yeah, enough to reach this one, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a memory. Of fun. Memories unveiled. Press escape. Okay, so it looks like even these are optional. Uh, so it's a child playing there? on his own. Yeah, it seems to be all alone, isolated from the group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whose memories are those? Good question. See something there in the distance. One of these statues. Mm. This music is really good. Mm, very. You can see why they're including a digital soundtrack for the Switch edition. Yeah. Yeah. Really, uh... really cool soundtrack. Okay, so this is for adjusting the camera up or down. Uh, okay. Yep. Don't you know? You have to let the water levels drop so you can go there. Not too much. So I can go down to here. I just want to reach here. Yeah. Sure. The other interesting thing about this game is you can actually hook up a controller and let a second player join you on this journey. Oh, that's quite cool. I think that's why they made it that there's no interruptions with a lot of speech or talking and stuff. Hmm. This way. Okay, yeah, so actually, there's all around. Down, gonna down. I'm watching that. I know. Uh, <laughs> I was watching where that uh, plating bit was going. Okay. What's your cool character? <laughs> I was like, oh, where is that uh, yeah, there. thing gonna end up? And then I ended up. Um... Luckily, it looks like they place you right back close to where you <laughs> made your blunder. So, very forgiving. Mm -hmm. This art style really has a very unique feel to it. Yeah, it really adds to the atmosphere. Yeah, definitely all these snowy particles floating around and the lights. And this gives it this magical... Oh, what's happening here? I think I can climb up these. Looks like... There's protrusions or whatever. Yeah. You grab onto them. Oh, hold. Shift. Okay. Okay. So we've got a climbing mechanic as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh. Question is what is this journey all about and where will I end up? Yeah, good question. I can jump while climbing as well. This game's got this mysterious, magical atmosphere that makes you want to mm -hmm. keep going and see where it's all gonna... Yeah. 
Yeah, I really enjoy games that's got this type of uh, yeah. atmosphere and this type of mood. You have to figure things out for yourself. Yeah, where it feels like there's this epic journey ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like we've got some options. We can go next. So I see two destinations off in the distance. Although this one just looks like it might hold something extra. But really pretty. Yeah. I love the landscape. It's a platforming game at heart, but very mm. forgiving one. Okay, so it looks like our little outcast character is making a friend. He's mm. reaching out to them. Okay. So you're definitely going to want to seek out these memories to yeah. discover the true story, I think. Yeah. It doesn't look like the type of game where you're just going to rush through it. This is more about the, the journey and experiencing what is happening. What do we have here? This is really simple graphics, but at the same time, it's also very, you know, it just fits the style and mood of the game. Mm. It's got its own unique, oh, that looks a bit far. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, I like that you're not always jumping on top of things, but also running underneath it. And... Yeah, the platforming sections feels very 2D. Well, the camera movements and stuff is all very 3D. Hmm. Oh. Yep. Currently playing the game with a keyboard. Had mm -hmm. some trouble setting up my controller, but I think it's a game we'll want to maybe play with the controller. controller. But the keyboard controls works fine as well. Okay. Gonna come down to preferences. Mm. I'm used to playing these types of games with a controller. Yeah. I think I should just make my way up there and then we can maybe end the video. I don't want to spoil too much of this game because I think it's very much something you want to experience mm. yourself and discover what's going on yourself. The music is Getting very stirring, so we're heading somewhere important, I think. Mm -hmm. Question is, is that old man that little boy? Yeah, I suspect so. In the his beginning, he memories. touched his own face after touching the boy's face. Yeah, so his memories of his life. Mm -hmm. I think this game is going to give uh, players goosebumps. Mm. It's really. So we are back here. So I guess that was one memory we experience. E, two out of five. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that is Arise, a simple story. You can grab it on Steam, the version that we've playing we've been playing here, but also it launched on the Nintendo eShop yesterday, the twenty eighth of April. So if you have a Switch, I definitely recommend taking advantage of that fifty percent off discount for the first week. And getting all those extra Switch goodies. Very cool. Yeah, the case of this game has been out for a while on PC and it's got positive 
reviews. So it's not a question of uh, is this game good or not. It is good. Mm. So if you like what you see here and you don't have the PC version, get that. If you're not a PC player, you're a Switch fan or you know someone who has a Switch and hasn't played this game yet, tell them about it. Definitely worth it. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. Awesome. Thank you. Remember to like, subscribe and share if you enjoy our videos. Until next time. Bye.